Welcome back gamers to the official Zap hosting YouTube channel, my name is Ellen and in today's tutorial I will show you how you can set up your own Avorian server on Windows VPS machine, so let's get started. First I will show you how you can get a Windows VPS server, if you own one already, skip the video to the provided timestamp on the screen. Now navigate to the root server bar, select VPS Hosting and then click on Windows VPS Hosting. Here you can configure server to your liking, you can change the server location, RAM, CPU cores, disk space, IP addresses, bandwidth and the operating system. Finally, select the payment method, but before you confirm your order, here is a little gift from us. 30% off voucher code, which you can use by clicking here on use vouch and typing a Warion minus VPS. After you confirm your order, the server will be up in just a minute. Now click on your VPS server and wait for the server to finish the installation. Once the installation completes, navigate to the settings tab which can be found right here on the left. Here create an administrator password that you will have to use in order to log in via the remote desktop app. After that, click on save. Now copy your service IP and launch the remote desktop app on your PC. Click on show options. In the computer tab, paste in the IP to your server. The username will always be administrator by default. Now click on act and type the password which is the one you defined earlier and click on ok. After successfully connecting to the machine, create a folder on your desktop and name it however you like. For example, I will call it Avorian. After creating the folder, you will need to download SteamCMD. To do so, open Google Chrome and paste the link that you will find in the video description and the download of SteamCMD will automatically begin. Once the download finishes, open the file and drag and drop the contents of it into the folder you have created earlier. After that, open the folder you have created, then double click on SteamCMD and wait for the installation to finish. After it is finished, write down the following command, login anonymous. Then paste in the app update command that you will find in the video description description and press on enter. Installation of your Warion dedicated server will now begin, which can take up to 5 minutes, so sit back and relax. After successful installation, feel free to close this window while writing quit. Now go to Steam Apps, Common, then Avorian Server. In here, find the server.bat file, copy it and paste it in the same folder. After that, rename the new file to myserver.bat and then open the file using Notepad++. In here, make sure to replace Avorian admin text with your Steam64 ID or the server won't start. You can find the Steam64 ID on the Steam Looker page, the link to it can be found in the video description. Next, rename your Avorian Galaxy with the name you prefer or leave it as default. After those changes, make sure to save the settings and close this window. Now I'll simply run the server by launching my server.bat file. This will now create a configuration file for your server, so once the server fully loads, make sure to save it by writing slash save and then slash stop. After that, open the run command box and paste in the following link that you will find in the video description. Once you do that, open the folder to your server world. In here you will find the file called server.ini, so if you wish to change any server settings, open it and configure your server to your liking, but after any changes, remember to save the settings and then close this window. You will now need to lock the ports to join the server, and this process is really simple with a script we have created. Search for Windows PowerShell and run it as administrator. A new window will open, so simply paste in the following command that you will find in the video description and press on enter. All the needed ports will now be unlocked for your server to appear online and for others to join. Now to start playing with your friends, go back to the server files and double click on the my server bat file you have created earlier to start your server. But once the server comes online, launch a Warion on your PC. In the game, click on multiplayer, then join via the IP. Now navigate back to your Zap interface and copy your server's IP address. Then go back to your game and paste it into this box. Next, type in your server's name and click on add. After this, select the server, then click on join. And here you go, you have now successfully connected to your own Avorian server. Enjoy! If you have any questions, you can contact our support by creating a ticket on our website or live chat and we will be more than happy to help you out. Now have a lovely rest of the week and enjoy playing on your Zap server.